Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I wanna shoot a couple videos and see how it goes. You guys can give me some feedback on this, but I wanted to take some questions that you guys have asked uh, on our YouTube channel or on Facebook or whatever, uh, Instagram, and answer them, but do it more in a visual way so that you guys can actually get benefit out of the answers. Plus, I'm better at answering things on a video than I am uh, by typing it. So, uh, I wanna start off, I got a question from Tracy Williams, so here it is. Tracy Williams asks, you are obviously great at haircutting, but I have never heard of zero degrees being associated with elevation. Usually zero degrees means no elevation and a maximum amount of weight. Please explain. All right, Tracy, so, uh, I want to start off, I want to show you what I mean by zero degree elevation. So the, the fact is we're working with a round head shape, correct? So a lot of people look at zero degrees as being straight down on the head. When I do videos, I like to explain that if this is 90 degrees coming straight out of the head because of where the curve sits, then zero degrees is going to be right here uh, along the line. So here's 90 and here's zero. So if I were to hold this part of the hair, only this part on this curve of the head here, this is actually zero degrees. Even though it looks like I'm elevating the hair, I'm not actually elevating the hair, I'm keeping it at zero degrees. Now, if I were to grab hair from further down the head, how it curves down, and I grab a little bit of this hair, and I hold it up to me, now I'm elevating the hair because 90 degrees is right here coming out of the head, and now I'm holding it at about 45 degrees, so zero would be here. Um, so I hope that that answers your question. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but if you understand that, you understand the shape of the head and how it moves, you're gonna have a way uh, better success rate with haircutting because you're gonna know where to take out weight and where to leave it. So I hope that this helps you, Tracy. Thank you for submitting your questions. Anybody else have questions, post them in the comments below and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.